Yeah. It's the what? We're, the, we're in the district. We're in the district, and we're going to find out what the fuck that really means, because we have no idea what state we're in. We're in a state of confusion, that's for sure. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! We're Eli and Rudy. You know us as Food Beast. Oh my god, the steak just melts. GQ sent us across the country to find the best cocktails, food, and bars around. You're watching Where's the Bar? Ooh! Ooh. DC! <laughs> Oh shit, we are in our nation's capital, I think. Yes, that's, I, you know what, we'll check that later, but for now, it's good. This is the nation's capital. Arguably the world's capital. Definitively the capital of the United States of fucking America. We're in front of a diplomat. We were sent here by a friend Morgan. She's the bartender and she promised us a dope drink. She promised a dope fish dish. So we're gonna go inside and uh, eat and drink Let's and be libatious. Fish dish. Oh, missed the high five. Morgan. Hello, gentlemen. What's up? How are you? Uh, you know, not too bad. <laughs> it's about to get better. We suited up for DC. Feel pretty presidential right now. You look extremely presidential. I believe Obama actually owns that coat. Do you feel powerful? I feel it's more powerful than when um, I was in California. I also feel like I can just pay people to do whatever I want. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I mean, it doesn't quite work like that. You sort of have to wine and dine them a little bit. Okay, gotcha. Then you have to pay them. So we have them. to ease into it. Yeah. We okay. ease into it and then we pay them, and then they do shit for us. Not exactly, but okay. it's a good start. It's that's a good how, start. That's how politics works. Yes. This is a beautiful, beautiful place. It's been open for a little over two years now, Okay. so it's still pretty new. Almost everything in the building is an antique. It's like built out for presidents, yes. I'm, I'm guessing. Le Diplomat, it's mostly known for its food, but its, it's cocktail program is phenomenal. It's sort of almost like a hidden gem of a cocktail program because people don't necessarily think about it right. in that way. DC per capita at one point was the largest consumer of wine. We're in the top three every year, uh, but we are also in the top five consumers of spirits. So DC loves to drink That's insane, in general. Yeah. Right. yeah. Who would like, I'd be like super stoked to see here. Biden comes in a fair amount. Oh snap. Always nice to see him. Does Claire come in here from time to time? You know, Kevin Spacey has come in a couple of times, but. Really? <laughs> <She's> like, no. <laughs> he, he comes in for brunch. He's my favorite yeah. president. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're. Tell me about the block, because I mean, like you mentioned, like this kind of champion the area, I feel like you yeah. guys are the diplomat. Well, I mean, Logan Circle, it's newly renovated and, and become a huge food scene. It was more considered a residential neighborhood until 14th Street blew up with its foodie restaurant district. There's a lot of great, awesome history about this area in general and then also an up and coming food scene. And DC is very quickly establishing itself yeah. as a food and cocktail city. And when I found out you were coming, I wanted to make a drink that sort of hit a lot of aspects of DC. So it is an apple and cherry and vanilla infused Bombay Sapphire. I like doing a lot of infusions because it's something that you can do a lot with different flavors and it's pretty easy. So I went and picked the apples myself. Wait, uh, did you really? A couple of days ago, yeah. What? So I, uh, I wanted some local flavors, so I picked them up in a farm in Maryland. We are not worth that. And <laughs> wait for it, okay. wait for it. We, we want things to be fresh and local and, and constantly changing and adapting. The name of the drink is Libation Without Representation. What's this one tying back to? So this is tying back to a French 75. So a French 75 at its base is gin, lemon, sugar, and sparkling wine, or champagne. Ooh, I like that. And then instead of sugar, simple syrup, I did honey. Again, local honey. This is in fact urban district honey. Uh, so, which is very difficult to, to find. And then lemon juice. So that is libation without representation. These are your tax dollars at work, pretty much. Damn near. Oh, that's fantastic. I can taste like the drive out that you had to make to get these apples. <laughs> you seriously, you could taste it. All the fruit really plays well with the gin, you know, like all the botanicals, oh, wow. like it really does just accent it and kind of bring it out. It's a little sweet, kind of fruity, got a little tartness. It's like a poem of, of DC intricacies. Cheers to the president, to Congress, to the majority whip. That was impressive, good job. Oh, cool. So we've had a great, great cocktail. You've given us a little DC history, but what I've heard is, uh, you know the chef? I, I've met him before. Okay. And I think he may hook us up. You might slide uh, yes. us into his DM real quick? DC, it's yes. all about who you know. Let's go schmooze it up. Schmooze it up. Let's all do right. it. Should we, Shall we? Keep holding hands. Rudy, Eli, this is our chef de cuisine, Chef, Dan. nice to meet you, Eli. Hey. 
Dan, nice to meet going? you guys. Le Diplomat, just to give you a little background, what our philosophy of food is, is kind of to be like we're eating in Paris. Right. It's very simple, classic French bistro food. So today for you, we're going to present our uh, plat du jour on Thursdays. We do uh, the Dover Sole Meunier. We get this fresh flown from uh, off the coast of Holland. It gets shipped overnight. We have a guy pick it up at the airport and deliver it to us fresh. It's a wonderful product, and people come around just to get it for, from us. We're going to make a little score down here at the end and kind of loosen up some of the skin a little bit. So this will be our, you know, our presentation side. So we're just going to flip it over and do the exact same thing. So make sure if you're going to make like French bistro food at home, you have your toolbox. Yeah, you got to have your right. tools here. <laughs> so How many of these do you go through a day? We do about 40 per night. Oh, oh, wow. Now we have the basic skin, so we're just going to trim it up with some scissors. How does this kind of uh, kind of relate to DC? You know, like what, what else do you guys do here? It's not all fine dining. Everything's very, you know, casual, kind of upbeat energy. We're not setting standards of what you have to wear, or how you have to be when you're here. You can just come in and have a great time. We're just going to season it with salt. We're going to dredge it in Wonder Flour. So Wonder Flour is a little bit finer grain flour, and it's going to do a nice even coating. We're just gonna use a little blended oil and then we're gonna do it on our nice uh, presentation yeah. side. First. Once it's cooked, we'll flay it off the bone and then build it all together back like, as it would look like if it was whole still. Oh wow. But well, you're gonna flay out the bone for them. Yeah, we'll flay out the bone so the guests have no bones and they're, you know, they don't have to do any work when they're eating. We that do all the work cool. for them. That smells good. Yeah, that I know. So good. <laughs> I'm getting super hungry right now. Oh, there it is. Look there at that go. color. So we got a little color now, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, put this in the oven. So while that's in the oven, we're gonna start making our brown butter sauce yeah. and our asparagus. And then in this pan, we're gonna make, we have a little chicken nodge. It's gonna be reduced chicken stock, cream, and a lot of butter. Yeah. We're just gonna heat up our asparagus in there. So as you can see, the butter's starting to uh, Oh, it's starting to just brown. Yeah, it's starting to brown. You add anything to it to, for it to brown like that? You just no. throw it in the skillet with yeah. the remnants yeah, of the Yeah, all the, the remnants years. and the fats and then the milk solids are starting, uh, they start to brown. We're gonna hit it with some lemon juice and some capers. Ooh, it's live in here. Finish it with some parsley and some salt. Now we have our fish that's already cooked, so now we gotta take it off the bone. We're gonna run a spatula down the center of the bone and start kinda just pushing the filet off the bone. Gotta be real gentle, cause how gentle the fish is. You wanna hold its shape too, right? Yeah, you wanna hold its shape. So now we can just build it back together. Dude, what that's the hot. hell? We got our asparagus, and then now we have our brown butter sauce. I love French people. They got this shit in the of butter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They got it down. And that's it. So this is our Dover Sole Meunier from Le Diplomat. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. Thanks. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh. It's crispy on the outside. It's flaky on the end. It's not too hot, which is awesome. The butter. Wow. I just, I just want to drink the butter. I just want to drink this all. I want to put it into a smoothie. That's amazing. Yeah. Chef, you need, you need an immaculate <laughs> amount of awards. This is insane. Awesome, guys. So I'm good. glad you enjoyed it. That is amazing. so good. Coming in. Oh, yeah. yeah. We got to feed the people, you what know what I mean? That? Jess. Woo! Get it. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Here comes the airplane. Yep. Oh, just spending the French love all around. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. If you're in DC, fuck going anywhere else. Come here. <laughs> That's it. Wrapped. We're done. That's the outro. Come to the bar, grab a drink. Maybe, I don't think you can come in the kitchen, but you can probably sit outside. Morgan makes the drinks and we'll make the food for you. There it is. <laughs> Woo! Bring, bring it in. No, we're going to hug, we're gonna hug it out. Let's do a hug. Because this is so fantastic. DC on three. Ready? One, two, three. DC! DC! <laughs>